going on YouTube today is let there be light Saturday and as you can see mm, the family mm -mm, is taking a nap without the main ingredient people I'm about to head to the Home Depot and I think I'm gonna pick up a few things I need like a painter's drop cloth I need um what do I need what do I need um like a hanging curtain I'm not getting that mail. That's just the bill. Like a hanging curtain situation um, so that I can hang some curtains from the ceiling. And then I need a can of paint. And I kind of want to get this color Acer that I saw Sharon, the trucker here on YouTube, use in one of her vlogs. Well, she painted her whole new place that color. And that color is beautiful. Even though I kind of wanted to do white because I want to paint my vanity area. So I don't know. I gotta see. I walked out the house and didn't even get myself something to eat. Oh, I have some shakes, but I didn't even get the shakes. But I'm about to head into Home Depot right now and see if they got this uh, drop cloth that I need. No, 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 no. I think I want this right here. This is for painting and cleaning. Yeah, but this color, I kind of wanted something a little brighter. Canvas. This is a canvas drop cloth. Okay. Um, I like this color nine foot by 12. Hopefully I'll be able to cover my couches with it because this is what I had in mind and I just want to make sure that I get enough. All right, I'm gonna go with this. Right now I'm looking for an aisle where I can find something to hang curtains from from the ceiling. And chandelier, they don't cost that much. Maybe like a faux chandelier. <laughs> so I'm a little, little disappointed because they did not have what I was looking for. Um, now I'm going to try to improvise and maybe use some sort of hooks that I can hook to the ceiling and drape a curtain. Uh, so I got some hooks that I could use for this curtain that I'm going to try to hang. I originally wasn't even going to do this part, but since I have all this drop cloth, I'm hoping it will be enough to do both of my couches and hang a curtain. But let me tell you, like, I fell out with a lady that I used to work with at the Home Depot. And it wasn't like a falling out. Like, we didn't even exchange any words. Like, she got mad about something that she thought I did. She like literally stopped talking to me. A couple of years had went by and she ran into me and then she just wanted to speak to me like nothing ever happened. Look, I cannot do that. Do not try to be cool with me if we cannot address what the problem was before. Okay, I'm about to head over to Walmart and see if I can get these curtain rods because now this just turned into a whole DIY project. I was actually gonna go to Planet Fitness and walk, but I kinda need to go home so I can go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right, y'all, so where am I again? I'm at the Walmart. I need to get some curtain rods, and I didn't want to get them there at the Home Depot because they're super decorative, and I just need cheap ones. So the guy in hardware from Home Depot, he helped me pick out these hooks, and as soon as he saw what I had in my hand, he said, what you making, curtains? I was like, yeah, he said, I got the perfect thing for you. So obviously, this has been done before. It's about to be bomb, and I'm excited about it. So I got the rods. Um, these are not the color that I want, but I think they're going to actually go good with the drop cloth once I make it into the curtain. I just don't know how I'm gonna really do that though. I don't know, I'm ready. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. All right, so I got a few extra things, of course, because their Christmas stuff was half off and I was in that mug like, squirrel. But I got my husband this right here because he'll use face wash and stuff, but he doesn't have any right now, so air quote $35 value it was actually selling for 14 something and it was on sale 14.88 and it was on sale for 7.44 then I went ahead and got myself this okay this says it's thickening shampoo as body texture and thickness for fine thinning hair that's me right now due to postpartum hair loss and then this is hairstyling cream 
and it says that is barber grade so i'm gonna give that a try for my hair and then i got a tablecloth yay and it was only like four dollars and some change because it was originally nine something yeah when you got long nails you gotta have a clamp for your card <laughs> Yo, they're claiming they got this bomb hot chocolate, bruh. Like, your hot chocolate gotta be breaking down barriers and being an answer to world peace for me to order hot chocolate from you. I just can't. Like, because it don't be chocolatey enough, and then they want to make hot chocolates with water. Like, do I look like a psychopath? Me, or do you have to try, like, your tots and your fries immediately? I always got to try one. This ain't hot, hot. You guys have BS. I should have ordered some tots with no salt. Like, we be finessing at McDonald's so we get them hot fries. I'm gonna come in here. He's gonna help me make this curtain. Basically, excuse, we didn't make the bed today. Oh, well. So, I wanna put a curtain across here so that I can have a separation between my vanity area, which is like this, and the bedroom so that I can feel like I'm in a more cozy spot. Got some hooks. Got a rod that's probably gonna be perfect. It stretches just across where I need it and got some painter's drop cloth that I'm going to make a curtain out of and also some couch covers if it all works out. Want me to go get it? I mean, I guess. I mean, you don't need to have to use a screwdriver. You see something to go through there. It's not going to break when you turn it. You need to pressure to it. I don't have so. anything like that. I got something. You talking about you got something of mine? No. He said you screw it all the way in, too. go back to Walmart because buying the little cheap rods did not work so I'm taking the rods back that I got these are actually more sturdier rods but um I was gonna use those in the guest bedroom but my husband just looked and said I didn't need to use them in there so I'm gonna go back to Walmart take back the one cheap one that I didn't tear up and these two and then get new ones a better one i might have to invest a little bit i'm not beat to invest but we'll see what happens all right so people i did wind up finishing the project and this is my after it came out really pretty as you can see um going down the curtain that i made i strung some faux rose petals and i think i'm gonna continue to um string those across so when i get done with that i'll let you know like the finished finished project but i had to give you guys a little something um definitely split the room into another section i got my own little sitting area i feel cozy and comfortable so anyway i want to thank you guys for watching it and in case you forgot it's your girl leah ray on the leah ray show peace